Hello, and now we are looking at question 6. Just pointing out, it's not quite a Warren truss. The Warren truss has equilateral triangles, but it's close. 10 kilonewtons are loading at the third span point, the so span's 15 metres, the depth is 3 metres, and we're looking for the force in the first internal angle strut and the top cord, which is F1 and F2 respectively. And the section for the truss struts is given as a tubular section, 76 diameter, 3 mm wall thickness. Modulus is steel, and a shear modulus for steel, which we're, we're looking at in the deflection calculations. It's given as 78 times 10 to 3 newtons per millimetre squared, the area is 6.9 centimetres squared and the hints we are looking in the book in figure 2.2.9 and chapter 2.6 pages 53 to 55. Question 6a and what we want to find first of all is resolving for the on the right hand side for the strut so we need the reaction which is 10 and we put the figure in, so from section figure 2.2.9, resolve at the right hand side support. So we show the components here, and it's the force in the diagonal tight. Tension is given by resolved vertically, which is R divided by cos thigh. And we work out for root 3 squared plus 2.5 squared over 3, root of that gives you cos chi thi and it gives you a reaction of 13 kilonewtons which should be a little bit more than the 10 if you're correct. Question 6b and now we're going to take the middle section and form a free body diagram and in this we're going to balance the moment with the internal forces in, in the sections. So we take the moment, F2, compression to balance the sagging moment. So the sagging moment is the moment in the system. This is the beam, so F2 times D is, is, is the moment itself, that's the action. So the moment is 10 times 5. 50 kilonewton meters, F equals M over D, 50 over 3, the depth gives you 17 kilonewtons compression. And likewise, the cord in the bottom is in tension. Question 6C. We're going to look at the stresses in the first sloping court sloping strut for the uh, 70 by 3 CHS with an area 6.5 centimeters squared so the stress is P over A we work it out as a multi as a, as a ultimate load of 19.5 this gives a stress of 28 newtons per millimeter squared the force in the top cord is 17 kilonewtons ultimate is 25.5 and P over A which is force over area gives you 37 newtons per millimeter squared for the top cord in the truss. This is in compression and this will be the critical condition for buckling checks. Question 6D. Now we look at the system, we've got the bending, deflection and shear, the beam effect. So in bending we work out equivalent I value, summation of AY bar squared, we've got the 3 over 2 is depth, over 2, which is Y bar, given I, and then 23PL cubed of 6480 I's, deflection, filling in the figures. For bending we come out with 2 millimetres. For shear, the deflection is WL squared alpha over 8AG. If you look in chapter 2.6, page 55, and adding in the figures with the shear modulus and the shear area we come out at 0.5 millimeters so the total combined deflection of bending and shear is 2.5 millimeters thank you for listening